Okay, my little can cancers, I am cleaning up from the last video. We're banging these out today. Let's do your cards and your astrology and all your other stuff for October 2024. Please do not forget to hit like, share, subscribe, comments, and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. We got so much to rock and roll on. I mean, these readings have been going really well today. I'm looking forward to see what's going on with you, Cancer. And if you're watching this, subscribe. I just saw that my numbers, 70% of people that watch are not subscribed. What the fuck? Come on. Help me out. I am a small creator. Come on. Didn't you ever try to work on a project and make things fabulous, Cancer? I know you did. You're a Cancer. You have a heart. Come on. Let's see what's going on. If my fingers would work. That'd be great. And if you stick through this whole entire video, not only are we going to do your tarot and your astrology and your extra cards but then i'm gonna tell you about all the halloween shit we got going on okay cancer mm -mm -mm. first of all i'm gonna skip right to october normally i do a little little past little future we're gonna do the present you have the wheel of fortune here which is such a blessed card just know that that is dead center and that is the most important thing so we're gonna worry about that you do have some things that are a little up and down but overall it means things are going back into your direction so this this card spins in time through infinity so when it's up your time it's getting better it might not be better right this moment but it's on its way of getting better and here's the thing whenever it's at its peak know that it's going to go down okay but right now we're in the getting better phase that's the fun part. That's like the early stages of dating when you got the butterflies, right? Okay. So um, August and September, it was things move forward. You actually felt like things were going on a good path. You're correct because in October, boom, you're hitting your stride. You're doing things. Things are making sense. Things are doing good. Especially it looks like with money. It looks like with work. It looks like those things are going well. Now you do have the two of cups in the foundation in reverse. That's not great. And you do have the five of swords upright on your crown, which I'm going to tell you something. There is a love situation. Cancer, stick with me. Stay with me, please. Don't go anywhere. There is a love situation that is not necessarily being good to you. That is not necessarily for your best benefit. This can be a friend, but it's more than likely a love relationship. Okay. It is a personal relationship. Well, definitely, you know who I'm talking about as you're listening to this, you're like, you know, you, they popped right into your head. I know they did. So be careful with that. Cause it's like, this can lead you into a bad path. This can lead you down the wrong way. So you have to be very, very, very careful. Now, Going into November and December, it looks like December you're going to be partying. You're going to be having some fun. So that's good. Holiday time, definitely. And get your drink on, get your groove on, do whatever, you know, hit the vape, whatever you got to do. November looks like you're going to be spending a lot of money, but it's a fun spending. It's not a bad spending. It's not something you have to like super worry about. Um, it's not like the refrigerator breaks. It's more like, oh my God, Christmas presents early. So let's check what your astrology says. Do not forget that these are available in my store. If you haven't been to my store, links are down below. And if you want any help shopping or if you want to ask me a question or anything, go ahead and text me. My phone number is down there, 484-634-0435, right in the description box. It's right down there. And the links to the store and everything you need. Go ahead, hit that up, and you can check out. These are available in the store, and you can get a reading. I have a brand new numerology birth date to birth date reading. It is super cool. People are going crazy for it. Um, but I have tarot card readings, I have astrology readings. We can do text or phone call, whatever you want to do. So we got South Node and Seventh House. If I could talk, I'd be dangerous. Seventh House, South Node with Gemini. So let's check what this is all about. So Seventh house is your house of partnerships. It is that relationship thing that we're talking about. That's going to be what's on your head the most. This is the thing that you're getting the biggest warning about. So just be aware, be aware, Cancer, that this love relationship, mm, it's it's going to be the subject of October. So Gemini is saying that there there's a dual nature here. This could be somebody hiding who they are or could be could be you finding something out. And that's really what South Node has to do with. It's like you already know. Like you might be suspicious of something. They might be hiding money issues from you. They might be hiding a secret phone from you. They might be, you know, not telling you 100% the truth of what's going on with them. So you definitely need to get to the bottom of things because it says this person and you, not good, and they're leading you down a bad path. Now you have all these other cards that are taking you in a good direction, but I don't want one crappy person to derail what you got going on. So please don't do that to yourself. Please, please, please. You know, the opening line of Seneca, um, his letters is, why do you postpone yourself, right? So don't postpone yourself because of some stupid bitch 
Okay, male, female, or yet to be decided. Don't let some stupid bitch get you off your square because your money looks good. It looks like you're celebrating. It looks like you came through a hard time. You're doing good. And you got this Wheel of Fortune card, which is like the best. It's, it's like the good luck card in the deck. So don't waste that in October over somebody that's like not worth it, okay? And it might be even somebody long-term that you're going to be like, what the hell? What was that? And we're in the middle of eclipse season, so crazy shit's going to happen. So... Uh, let's see. I'm going to do your Toth deck while I am shuffling that. I got a couple, the last couple of readings, I had some funny cards come up, but while I'm shuffling that, please do not forget that Halloween is coming up. I'm going to be posting the Halloween mystery boxes. I'm not doing a lot of little Halloween stuff because you don't need that. I'm doing big ass, big, beautiful, juicy mystery boxes. They are fabulous. And don't forget, if you see my nails, I got the Halloween nails out. They're on the Mercari and they're on the Etsy. And I got a few other juicy tidbits if you wait till the end. Yeah, defeat. There's something. See, these these cards, Five of Swords. It's funny. You saw me shuffle. You saw me shuffle the first deck. You saw me shuffle this deck. Isn't it weird? And if you watch some of the other videos, the same cards come up in different decks. You know why? Because this shit's legit. Okay. Yeah. Prince of Swords. So right now, this six of cups is definitely pleasure. It's it's down here also. We have two of cups, but it's 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 the same thing. It's like a pleasure thing. Very, very much like the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to go good in October. Don't freak out that they're going to go bad. But then you're flanked by this like urgh, a lot of swords. Swords is fighting. Swords is things you have to get through. Swords is things you have to work through and battle through. So you there is somebody wishing your defeat. I'm telling you this person that you're thinking of. Could it be a relationship? But yes, or it could be a best friend, or it could be, you know, but it's somebody very close to you, super duper duper close to you. Do not trust them. Do not trust them at all. Do not trust them. Um, and then in, in the outgoing part of the month, we have the Prince of Swords, where I think that you will be on top. I think you'll be able to defeat what is going on. I really do. But you're only going to do it if you open your freaking eyes, Cancer, and see this person for what they are. I hate bad readings. I hate to give you like warnings. I don't want to be that like negative Nancy, you know, psychic here, but I tell you the truth. And I'm going to, if you want to, I mean, this is definitely a time to get a hold of me for a personal reading. New clients get a 10 minute free consultation. So just know that. Go ahead and text that number right down below. Don't call it, but if you text it 484 634 0435, I can hook you up and we can get things going. And I can tell you like what kind of reading you need or, or what kind of work you might need. I also do spell work on my altar privately for clients. So that's something I can help you with. But there is this person that is not in your best interest, they're very close to you you know who I'm talking about. Like, you don't, don't say it out loud. It's just you listening to me in your earbuds right now while you're like driving or going to the gym. Shh, don't tell anybody cancer, but they're not good for you. And then we can find a workaround. If you want to keep them in your life, we can keep them in your life. We can do spell work. We can do something to keep them there. Or if you want them out, you want to let them go. We can work on that too. So either we can do a reading and I can get a plan for you, or we can do spell work and make things happen on the energetic level. Now, that being said, I have been the past couple months. You got to go to the store. I got so many beautiful products, all handcrafted. Real. I'm like one of the last hoodoo lit mamas. I'm a hoodoo hussy from way back. I'm the last that actually crafts everything. So I am going to be done with doing oils very soon. These are the last two I just sold. Actually, I, I think I just, I think I only have one left of the Dominatrix oil. I got to check. I got one or two left. That's it. The Dominatrix oil, that, and I'm never making it again. Uh, it is a limited edition. It is go to my store, or if you need it, text me, and I'll, I'll text you the direct link. Um, this helps you gain the upper hand. From the boardroom to the bedroom, this helps you in all situations. You definitely want this. You need this. Get this. Don't Do not sit on this at all, because every time I make a video and I post a video, another one gets sold. We only got, I think we got two left. We might have one left. That's it. So... That will definitely help you in this situation. Or I can always make custom things for you. I can make custom oils, soap, salts, candles. And don't forget, I definitely do uh, spell work on behalf of my clients. But let's get a reading. We can have a consultation. If you're if you never, never come to me before, we can do a 10-minute free consultation. I'll go over whatever you need. I'll see what you need, if you need anything. And then we'll go from there, okay? Talk to you soon, Cancer. Don't forget to subscribe. You get this free every single month. Health, wealth, love, and happiness. And a plan to make it all work out. And then you get to see the new Halloween stuff I got coming up. Talk to you soon.